South Korean filmmaker Lee Chong Dong's latest is a stunning, slow-building romantic thriller in which an aspiring writer and a rich hotshot become rivals for the affections of a charismatic young woman. In his review, Todd McCarthy writes, Director Lee Chong Dong establishes and then sustains an almost trance-like state while still keeping a simple yet elusive story afloat. This is a beautifully crafted film loaded with glancing insights about class, privilege, reverberating family legacies, creative confidence, self-invention, sexual jealousy, justice and revenge. A ragtag family of petty thieves provides an affectionate home for an abused little girl in here cause a tender family drama. The film is studded with memorable characters and believable performances that quietly lead the viewer to reflect on societal values. Deborah Young writes in her review. Who better than Corita, a director who whispers instead of shouts, is able to capture contradictions and issues though, such a subtle, unforced style of storytelling. A companion piece to his foreign language Oscar winner Ida, this is yet another exploration of Soviet-era angst from director Pavel Podlikovsky. Tracking the relationship between two Polish musicians as they shuttle back and forth across the Iron Curtain, from Warsaw to Paris and beyond, the film, writes Leslie Felperin, is bittersweet and unbearably lovely, a sad ballad of two lovers who can't stand to stay apart but also sometimes can't stand each other. In his thrilling exploration of romantic disappointment, Pawlikowski finds an elegant, melancholy way to resolve what might have been a formless and sprawling saga, writes Leslie Felperin. The film is achingly romantic but also wryly realistic about the destructive power of Eros. As a French college student in the heat of his queer awakening, and in love with a man who has AIDS, Lacoste gives what John Frosch, in his review, calls a luminous and deeply nuanced performance. His character has youthful swagger in spades, but Lacoste shows us the neediness and yearning underneath. Playing a fierce Polish beauty with a soulful voice, a stormy temperament and a doomed, decade-and-a-half-long romantic attachment to a fellow musician, Kulik has what Leslie Felperin calls in her review, a magnetism and presence that make an indelible impression. Corita's latest is, according to Deborah Young's review, a thoughtful addition to his parables about happy and unhappy families with a screenplay that contrasts the frigid emotions of socially correct behavior with the warmth and happiness of a dishonest lower-class family, where money is tight and all methods of obtaining it are permissible. Eva Husson's action drama about Kurdish female soldiers taking on ISIS fighters opts for what Jordan Mintzer calls in his review, an overtly manipulative, rather cheesy approach. The film is so unsubtle it winds up doing damage to its own worthy discourse, he writes.